numbers, families who had to drop out of society just to survive. Our Alan Chernoff is live in Lakewood, New Jersey, with a very interesting angle on this story. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Christine. And right behind me, you can see one of the main streets of Lakewood, people actually heading off to work. But let's just take a few steps here into the woods, and it's an entirely different world, because what we have right behind me are dozens and dozens of homeless people who have set up tents, set up huts. They're basically out here trying to make it on their own. Over okay, here's my punching bag. Another re uh, stress reliever. Angelo Villanueva, a mason who lost his last job about a year ago, is among dozens of jobless and homeless Americans who have resorted to this, trying to make a home here in the woods. You think of a homeless person, you think of some wino out in the corner, but it can happen to anyone, anyone at any time. Villanueva stays in shape in the gym he built as he hopes for a pickup in the economy to help him get back to work. Oh, it's horrible. So depressing. Marilyn Berenzweig is a textile designer who worked in New York just two years ago. She and her husband, Michael, a former public radio producer, have been living here for 16 months, victims of the jobs recession. It's very hard for a company to decide to use a 61-year-old trainee. I'm too young for Social Security. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a rough, a rocky flight. It's been a rocky flight. Five years ago, Reverend Steve Brigham established what he calls Tent City, where he lives in this converted school bus. He's seen the population nearly double to 70 in the past year. It's a community here. Yeah, they've got all their needs met here. The residents here have come up with some makeshift solutions to some of life's necessities. This portable generator is hooked up to a pump that is actually driving up groundwater to the shower here and to the washing machine. And what you see here is a hot water heater working off of a propane tank. Tent City residents recycle. The township picks up garbage once a week, but that's as much help as local government provides. Lakewood Township is suing Reverend Steve and his Tent City residents to get them off public lands. The government has a responsibility to be sympathetic to the plight of the poor and to the homeless, and to push them out is cruel. The township referred CNN's inquiry to its attorney, who did not return our calls and emails. As the legal battle drags on and the economy stagnates, the homeless who have created a home here maintain their hope of returning to society. The community is just waking up this morning. Behind me, you may hear some of the roosters here who will wake people up every single morning around here. You see behind me some of the tents. These, in fact, are remains of huts that had been up. The town demanded that they be taken down. So you see the remains over here. But the folks here are quite worried as the winter is going to approach because they say they can't survive just in their tents. They'll need some huts to at least keep them a little bit warmer. And yes, Christine, people do survive here through the winter. And it was a tough one, as you know, last winter. And it just underscores the fact that there aren't enough jobs. Uh, there just aren't enough jobs to put people in, to train people for at this point. And so what kind of opportunity can, can you offer when the big fight, I guess, is, is with the city or the township about being able to stay? You know, Alan, thank you so much.